The moment we have all been waiting for has finally arrived and Rig 5 is pumped. Wait a minute, what moment are we talking about? Well, that is the result of the test of the test of the ultimate test that we have been testing so far in terms of testing the Ghost Rider algorithm and Raptorium. So what I did do, I took XM Rig and I took CPU Miner GR and I put them head to head on Flock Pool. Uh oh, Rig 5 is mad, he's turning red. Did I just say Flock Pool? Yes, I did say flock pool. So the reason I did choose flock pool for XM rig versus CPU minor GR is because the majority of the hash rate is there. And the majority of the people you know who are defending everything on saying it's the most profitable pool are there. So they cannot argue the fact between which miner could win. Also, CPU minor GR has the lowest dev fee on flock pool. So if you were to take CPU Miner GR, you will have a higher dev fee across any other pool that you do use. And XM Rig is a 1% dev fee across the board, no matter what pool you're using, it is not biased. On top of the test between XM Rig versus CPU Miner GR, I also tested the top six pools to see which one is the most profitable across seven days, because again, the exact same reason. I've done a few tests here and I found Flock Pool not being the most profitable, but a lot of people keep on insisting that it is the most uh, profitable pool out there. And then I do kind of argue the fact where I keep saying the hash rate that is on the pool is not really finding enough blocks, even though it's a lot, to cater all the people that are actually mining on that, making other pools more profitable. So if you did miss the first video when I did set this up, the pools I did test was one, Flock Pool, two, our plant. Uh, three was Supernova, we got our pool in there for four, we got O11 Data Pool, and then we also got uh, Manificle or Manificle, whatever it's called, I can never pronounce it right. Some people did show me in the comments how to pronounce it, but I always fail. But those six pools are all went head to head for seven days. I also, every video I do have to say, I do not hate Flock Pool. Flock Pool is a great pool, it has a great UI, it has great ping, it has great everything, really. It is a great standard pool, but we do need to decentralize the hash rate, not centralize it across one pool. Yes, people say Raptorium is 51% proof. That's not entirely true. It can totally happen. I kind of explained it through some live streams and the lower the price goes, the higher the chance of that actually happening can happen. So never say never when it just encourages people to try harder. Another thing when mining Raptorium is what I always try to say is patience. Be patient when you're mining. Don't just go out there and say, oh, uh, I'm not mining that much right now. I tried a different pool and I made way more yesterday. So that's one thing Flock Pool does cater to because it hits so many blocks is that you are seeing a little bit of increase in your transactions every day, every hour, every little bit. But when you spread it over a time frame, does it actually add up to compare to other pools out there? So let's get into the results. This is probably gonna be a fairly long video because there's a lot of stuff we do gotta go through here. But let's take a look. XM Rig versus CPU Miner GR and top six pools, which is the most profitable. Welcome to the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel where the testing just never ends. All right, guys, are you ready? So in the first corner on the left, coming in in orange, we have XM Rig. And in the second corner on the right, we have CPU Miner GR. Let's get ready to rumble. So day one, we do have XM Rig 6.16.1.2 was not yet in Hive OS during this time. So we do have 25.2 Raptorium coins mined in the first day, which is 24 hours on XM rig and CPU miner GR is slightly ahead at 25.3 coins. Day two, 48 hours later, XM rig 6.16.1 is sitting at 43.49 coins, while CPU miner GR is sitting at 43.3 coins. Here we are, day three, and just a couple hours before, you know, the full 24 hours to hit the day three hit, Hive OS did update to 6.16.2. So we did update our rig and that's what we're using for now on. I also decided it'd be a good idea to start writing down our accepted shares as well as stale and rejected. So it is looking like on day three, XM rig 6.16.2 only running for a couple hours. We're sitting at 73.46 coins. Well, CPU miner GR is sitting at 73.2. Now XM rig did have 
2,571 accepted shares, five stale and two rejected, while CPU Miner GR had 2,442 accepted, so less than XM rig. It had 12 stale, so up a bit, but zero rejected shares. Day four, and this is where things slowly start to tip towards one size. So XM rig 6.16.2 is sitting at 104.39 coins. CPU Miner GR is sitting at 100.47. And the average kilohash, I decided to add the average hash rate in as well. Remember, Flexpool reports every 24 hours. So within the past 24 hours, these are your stale shares and everything that you are getting. So 3.3 average uh, hash rate there, 3.3 kilohash on XM rig, and 2.89 average hash rate on CPU Miner GR. XM rig did have 2,644 accepted shares, 9 stale, and 0 rejected. Well, CPU Miner GR did have 2,497 accepted shares, three stale, and zero rejected. So again, XM rig is a higher hash rate for the past 24 hours, as well as we're getting more accepted shares to the pool. Day five, XM rig is sitting at 133.58 Raptorium coins, while CPU Miner GR is looking like 126.61 coins. Average hash rate on XM rig 3.42 kilohash, while CPU Miner GR is sitting slightly over 3 at 3.07 kilohash. We have accepted shares of 2,523 on XM rig, 7 stale and 1 rejected, while CPU Miner GR is falling behind on uh, accepted shares again at 2,442. Three stales and zero rejected. Day six, XM rig, 165.08 Raptorium coins. CPU miner GR is sitting at 155.84. As for our hash rates, it looks like uh, XM rig is sitting at 3.29 kilohash, while CPU miner GR is sitting at 3.06. Accepted shares on XM rig, 2,534. Seven stale and zero rejected. CPU miner accepted shares. 2,433, 12 stale, and zero rejected. And day seven of the one week test, XM rig did come out on top at 195.75 Raptorium coins. CPU Miner GR is trailing behind at 183.28. Average hash rate is 3.11 on the last day for XM rig, while the average hash rate on CPU Miner GR is 2.76. We have 2,293 accepted shares on XM rig, 7 stale and 0 rejected, while CPU Miner GR has 2,229 accepted shares, 3 stale and 0 rejected. So there is the 7 day results of XM rig versus CPU Miner GR and it does look like XM rig is the winner. It is sending more shares to the pool, it tends to have a higher average hash rate. You do get the odd rejected at times, but it does not seem to matter. Profitability wise, at least on Ryzen CPUs, more specific, these are 3900Xs at 3.6 all core overclocks and one volt. You can get away with 0.95 volts depending on silicon lottery, but XM rig is the dominant miner. Now you may be better off with CPU miner GR on say, you know, Intel CPUs, but I don't have anything to test. But Ryzen CPUs are the way to go and XM rig does seem like the miner to use. Now let's move on to the most profitable pool test out of the top six. And for flock pool, we are using the CPU miner GR numbers. That way it is even because that is the miner I used on all the pools. So we did have to keep everything fair because we did not know which one was the best miner to use XM rig or CPU miner GR. Now we do know, so keep in mind, uh, using XM rig, these numbers could be slightly higher. Also, using CPU miner GR here, you are seeing a higher dev fee, so XM rig could, could potentially boost these other pool numbers a little bit more on top as well. Here we are, day one, 24 hours, 3900Xs, 3.6 all core overclocks, one volt. Again, you could get away with 0.95 depending on silicon lottery. And I also went for the very first day here, I wanted to show you just kind of my latency to each pool. So, flock pool had a ping of 80. Our plant had a ping of about 72. Supernova, my ping was 160. Our pool was 95. O11 data pool was 132. And Manifical, Manifical, my ping was 93. First day for the numbers. Flock pool did mine 25.3 coins. Our plant mined 26.58. Supernova 32.5. Our pool 22.74. O11 data pool was 17.24. 
and Minifaco was 19.63. So judging by this, Supernova is the winner for the first 24 hours. It also has the highest ping of all the other servers. Our plant looks like it's in second place here, and then Flockpool is sitting in third place with what do we got our pool in fourth minifacal in fifth and 011 data pool is last at only 17.24 coins moving on to day two we have flock pool sitting at 43.3 coins our plant at 39.54 supernova 50.53 our pool 29.53 011 data 26.73 and minifacal 42.74 Looking from the top three here, we do have Supernova in first. We do have Flockpool in second now. Minifacal is sitting in third with our plant in fourth. So it does look like our plant is doing some changes from previously because they were, seemed like they weren't that profitable, but it looks like their profits are definitely upwards than what they previously were. Our pool is sitting at 29.53 and the 011 data pool is 26.79 in last place. Day three, we have Flock Pool sitting at 73.2 Raptorium. Our plant sitting at 70.22. Supernova, 78.38 coins. Our pool, 62.72. 011 data shooting up there to 65.6. And Minifacal is 42.76. Day four, we have Flockpool coming in at 100.47 coins. Our plant, 97.61. Supernova, 105.34. Our pool, 75.06. 011 Data, 102.75. And Minifacal with the catch up of 100.39. Moving on to day five, Flockpool coming in at 126.61. Our plant with 113.29, Supernova 126.52, our pool 94.4, 011 data 157.75, and Minifacal 136.92. Day 6, we have Flockpool 155.84, our plant 138.97, Supernova 144.39, our pool 113.73, 011 data 179.41, and mini Fackle at 158.17 coins. And here we have day seven, flock pool sitting at 183.28, our plant 165.85, supernova 175.8, our pool 129.77, 011 data 206.98. And Minifacal, 185.76. I also had an eight-hour uh, internet outage, so I do have another chart coming up with plus eight hours. And then I do turn everything off and let all the blocks mature. If you are unaware what that means, it means everything you previously mined block-wise, it takes 3.5 hours to mature to get your payout after that happens. So that'll be your full complete setup for rewards. So next one coming up is plus eight hours of extra mining time from the outage, as well as 3.5 hours at least. I let it sit for like a day and then calculated all my totals all together to see what is the winner. And here are the final pool numbers. Who is our champion? What are the pools looking like? Flock pool is sitting at 193.84. Uh, flock pool with XM rig, as we know, I let that all settle out as well. It came out at 207.78. Our plant, 176.43. Supernova, 181.85. Our pool, 157.39. 011 data 224.43 and mini fackle 221.48 so if we were using xm rig on the other pools we will have a cheaper miner fee than using cpu miner gr which would give us a little bit more coins here as well and xm rig is just the more profitable miner to use in general by the looks of things previously but one thing i did notice here not one day here was flock pool ever in first place it was always in either second or third and in the end here it's looking like it's sitting in third fairly close to coming into fourth as well so depending how you want to go remember if you did this another week they could end up a little different it all depends on luck base but using a major pool that has the majority of the hash rate their luck is usually majority of the time a lot lower never will hit 100 percent so smaller pools long term do look better it's been two or three tests that i have done now and i have found every time other pools being more profitable than flock pool so these numbers don't lie they're there as definitive proof that no flock pool is not the number one 
most profitable pool out there. It has lost multiple times, and now we have yet some more proof for you. There we have it, guys. Flock pool is not the most profitable pool to mine on, even though I already knew this. Some of you other guys already knew this because you've been showing me some of your tests as well and finding this out. But for the majority of the people out there that swear that it's the most profitable, it's not. Get over it. Just face it. Yes, it has a nice UI and everything. You may have a nice ping, but it's not the most profitable pool. Well, guys, I hope this video did, you know, put some insight into Raptorium and, you know, what pool to use, what software to use. XM rig looks more profitable than CPU Miner GR. Also, I hope some hash rate does come off Flock Pool because one, it would make Flock Pool more profitable if some hash rate left, and it'd also make another pool more profitable. I think around the 30, 30 mega hash mark is like the prime number at the current difficulty rating and everything to be the most profitable type of pool. Also, uh, they're potentially now that the Raptorium price is down and the hash rate and difficulty is up, there's more coins that are seemingly more profitable than Raptorium. Now I gotta do more tests across multiple coins to see which ones they are. But a big player that is coming to the game that I've kind of been talking about is Monero Ocean. Now it's a profit switching pool. It has pools on Raptorium now. It has pools on, you know, Monero, it has pools on Haven, it has a whole bunch of different pools out there. Benchmarks your CPU, profit switches, pays your own XMR, but it could potentially be the most profitable way to mine. Yet again, it used to be until Raptorium did come out, but now that they're adding Raptorium, it's probably back to being the most profitable. Now it's not fully implemented, it's only on one stratum, which has Raptorium added into it, but I'm gonna be testing it out right soon and see how it actually does work out. And seeing how I am talking about Monero Ocean, if you wanna know about the dev fees, XM Rig MO Fork, 0% dev fee. Monero Ocean pool fees, 0% pool fees. The only fees that are in the background is the profit switching part through Trade Ogre. So whatever Trade Ogre charges for background fees is the only fees you have. But when it comes to pool fees, zero, nada. When it comes to the minor fees, zero, nada. So Monero Ocean used to be the best way and most profitable way to mine. And now it may be becoming the best way to mine as well yet again. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.